When you're creating your landing page, are you structuring it properly? Are there things that are missing? In today's video, I'll be going through some tips to help you structure your landing page. Hi, my name is Jason Kruger and I help heart-centered businesses build and automate their online marketing systems. In today's video, I wanted to go through uh, briefly just a few tips on how to structure your landing page. Now, why is this important? Because if you don't and you miss a few key elements uh, on those landing pages, they're not gonna be as effective. And unfortunately, I have seen uh, some landing pages recently where they're missing a few key elements. And in my opinion, there are a few that you should at least have on uh, your landing page to make it even work. So what do I mean by the structure um, of the landing page? Well, there are a few elements that you should actually have on your landing page. One of them being your headline or even an optional subheadline that describes what it is that you're offering. Now, you want to have this so that it entices someone to want to read further um, and, you know, actually take the action that you want them to do, which most of the time is putting their name and email address uh, in exchange for whatever you're offering. Now, I have seen people miss these out and it doesn't uh, look or doesn't feel right when you actually look at the page. Now, let me just show you um, an example. This is my landing page for the online marketing starter guide. And as you can see on here, I have my heading um, on here and it's telling uh, the reader who it's actually targeted at um, and what it might be um, for. So it's the free five minute must read guide for every heart centered business looking to market their business online. So that's my headline. The next uh, point that you should actually have on here as well is a brief description of what it is that you're offering. Now, unfortunately, again, I've seen this section missed out and to me, this is quite an important area because this is your opportunity to tell people how this is going to help them. Unfortunately, when it comes to this section, people either write massive paragraphs that are very difficult to read, or they're only gonna be putting uh, the features um, of whatever they're offering on there, which is great, but it doesn't tell the reader why um, they should download it, what the benefit is. So this is what you want to make sure you're doing is telling them why uh, they should download it. So, you know, what, how's it going to benefit them? So for instance, in, in my example here, I'm telling them what it's going to, uh, what this report's going to reveal, and it's going to uh, show them how to create their ideal client avatar, but why is that important? Well, it's important so that you can make sure that your marketing is properly focused towards them. So now I'm telling them why that the, this statement um, is important. The next one, the five elements that you will require to market your business online. Okay, but why is that important? Which allows you to grow your business. So you can see the way I've structured this is via bullet points because it's easy to read. Now, another uh, element that you should put on your landing page is either an image or a video that helps the flow of that page and again, shows them what they might be getting. Uh, and on this uh, example, I've got the cover of my report. So make sure that you have that element on there somewhere uh, or a video um, showing them maybe uh, what uh, the benefits, etc., are uh, for downloading. Another element that you could have on here, which I don't actually have on my landing page at the moment, it is something that I am going out and 
uh, getting from people that are reading my report, and that is some social proof, so that people can see that other people have actually read this report, um, and it is beneficial to them. And as I said, that is going to be added to my landing page. This is a very new report, so I'm now going out to the people that have downloaded it and asking for that social proof so that I can add it on to my landing page. Now, the most important part of this landing page without having the uh, description or the headline is your call to action. Now, without this, people don't actually know what it is that you want them to do. So on my example, I have the button that says, send me this free report. And when they click on it, they put in their information, uh, click the button again, and they get added to uh, my list and get the report sent to them. Unfortunately, again, many people miss out uh, a very strong call to action and they just say register or uh, something like send uh, or submit which doesn't really do much with regards to a call to action. Make it uh, clear uh, what you want uh, your prospect to actually do. So I hope you found these five uh, quick tips useful when creating your landing page. Um, and I'm hoping that you might take this away and actually look through your landing pages and see if you're missing any of these. And if you do, you can go on and add those in as well. Now, if you uh, found that this video was useful, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel and get notified when I next post a video. Now, I hope to see you on the next one.